Welcome back. If you're a regular visitor to my channel, you'll recognise this case as housing one of the Singer's 400 series. And this one is no exception. This is a Singer 404G, a straight stitch only member of the Singer 400 family. This 404G was made in Germany in the early 1960s. The 400 series were known as slant shanks, which moved the needle towards the front of the machine, making it easier to see your work, and meaning the sewer doesn't have to hunch up as much to see the needle. Like the rest of the 400s, the 404 is a full rotary hook machine that takes class 66 drop-in bobbins and features a direct drive motor. The German machine differs from the American built 404A, mainly in the positioning of the bobbin winder, which is here on the American machines, and located on top on the German ones. The German machines also have this quirky extra take-up lever here, which is supposed to improve the tension. Again, like many of the 400 range, the feed dogs don't drop for darning and free motion work, rather a lever lifts the plate up so the feed dogs don't touch the fabric. Moving the lever further releases the feed dog plate completely for cleaning and lint removal. To wind a bobbin, release the stop motion knob. Place a spool of thread on the spool pin and bring the thread around the guide with a plastic cap. Thread through one of the holes in the bobbin. And place on the bobbin winder, making sure the locating pin in the winder clicks into place on the bobbin. Pull out the latch to engage the winder and start to operate the machine. Where there's sufficient thread on the bobbin, stop the machine and cut the thread. Disengage the winder and remove the bobbin. The winder will automatically disengage when the bobbin is full. Tighten the stop motion knob. Drop the bobbin into the bobbin case with the thread coming off in an anti-clockwise direction. Pull the thread through the tension spring and over towards the needle. As always on the 400s, there's a handy threading guide inside the front cover. Take the thread over the top guide and down to the secondary take-up lever. The thread goes under the left-hand guide and over and into the right-hand guide. Then down and between the tension discs. Pull the thread up through the tension spring into this notch. Then from right to left through the take-up lever. Down and into the thread guide to the left of the tension assembly. And through the three thread guides on the needle bar. Thread the needle from front to back.
hold the top thread and turn the hand wheel towards you to bring up the bottom thread. The 404G has a lockable stitch length selector, allowing a quick change to reverse while keeping the same stitch length. The machine is very controllable and has a great turn of speed. This machine, I suppose, is the spiritual successor to the legendary 201. What do you think? please let me know in the comments. As always, thanks for watching.